My name is Adun Okupe and I am the Executive Director of the Sahara Center. So the Sahara Center is a not-for-profit that is focused on advancing the sociocultural dimension of sustainable development in Nigeria. What does that mean? That basically means how do we build a better society using research to guide our interventions and our interactions with, with different agents in the industry. We are really focused on the creative economy and the tourism industry, particularly because we see the role that these two industries fit with each other but also play in coming up with what is a good society. So the culture, the heritage, the tourism assets, the creation, leisure, activities, and how they all fit into coming up with understanding the environment better, the culture better, and using that as an anchor to move forward in terms of Nigeria's sustainable development. The vision for the Sahara Center was basically to create a platform to allow conversations, research and insights that focus primarily on the people's side of sustainable development. So there's a lot of focus on economic development and climate change and environmental sustainability. But we found that there was a gap looking at the sociocultural dimension and that was where we wanted to fill using our key skills of research to try to address these issues. We have key interventions or key initiatives. One is conversations at Indigo and the second one is Lantern, as well as our activities working with different players in the creative economy, the tourism industry, and other not-for-profits that are committed to developing a better Nigerian society. The Sahara Center has been involved in several projects since we opened in 2019. We've just recently completed the creative economy project that looked at understanding the impact of interventions in the creative economy in Nigeria and how we can harness its potential. We have also looked at the Lagos Island project, looking at the role of leisure and urban design in societal development in Lagos Island. And we have worked with certain NGOs to look at um, projects looking at security and safety in Nigeria, looking at the impact of culture and how culture plays a part in this. We've also been involved in the GLOBE project that looks at organizational behavior. Again, trying to understand if there's a cultural dimension to our leadership and management practices in Nigeria. The Sahara Center came up with the idea of addressing some of the challenges due to COVID-19 pandemic for the creatives that work in Nigeria. And to do this, we put up a COVID-19 humanitarian relief and assistance fund to try and provide support. We were able to raise some money and we, were, we disbursed this to about 15 key agents to support different interventions that looked at capturing the, you know, the realities of COVID-19 in Nigeria, realities of the lockdown, as a way of contributing to the space of showing with art, with different mediums, what the impact of COVID-19 has been. So providing a voice, but also providing a way to fund certain projects so that the creatives themselves are not left abandoned during this time. Part of the reason for this was because of the lack of government interventions to support individuals in the sector. That is changing and that has changed. So we've also been part of the Lagos State Committee to assist Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture in terms of their COVID-19 response. So those are the two main things that we've been involved in recently to try and address some of the challenges that COVID-19 has brought forward to us. In the two years that we have been in existence, the Sahara Center has become a voice for the creative industries and tourism industries in Nigeria. We have also become a voice through certain of our interventions, our initiatives, the conversations at Indigo, to talk about the cultural realities of living in Lagos, to talk about how these cultural realities affect people and possible solutions that we can have to improve our society. We have also been called on to provide research evidence to guide other initiatives that various agents are playing. And I think the most proud one has been the provision of the Space Indigo that has supported several creative economy projects and creative industry projects in Lagos State. Indigo is meant to provide a space that allows us to work from it. It's solar powered, it's green. 90% of our products or our furniture is made in Nigeria and we have a garden that uses different local herbs and vegetables and so in a way we're trying to try and show in a tangible form some of what our vision is to say that there's a lot of value in what we have in Nigeria there's a lot of value in Nigerian art a lot of value in Nigerian creativity and we need to sanitize show credence patronize it and that is how we can therefore develop it 
So while I was doing my postdoc, I did a project, the African Capitalism Project, where I went around um, different countries on the continent to try and understand leadership and the role that the private sector can play in sustainable development on the continent. I was quite amazed that most of the business leaders that we spoke to all mentioned the fact that their staff could not think critically and that was the key issue that they were facing. And then when I asked what were they trying to do about it, it was seen as the responsibility of the individual to solve his or her own problem. And then coming into Nigeria and understanding the environment a bit better, I discovered that there was a sense of apathy but also helplessness. So people identify problems and issues but do not see how they can be agents of change. And so part of our mandate in the Sahara Center is sociocultural development, looking at the people side of things. And so the idea was that we could come up with an initiative that would help people to understand that they could think through their problems and think up solutions to solve it by also working together and collaboratively. So that birthed the Lantern Initiative, which is really a workshops, a set of workshops looking at critical thinking for societal change, where we also then support community engagement with the young people. Again, it's open to 18 to 25 year olds and early career workers as a way to create a sense of responsibility, but also a sense of purpose and a sense of the ability that you can actually change the environment that you are in, even if it's in a small, tangible way. The focus on critical thinking is that we usually feel like most of our issues are caused by the government or caused by X, Y, and Z. But if we really deconstruct these issues and these problems, we will see that the individual plays a key role in this. And so we're trying to then work it back a bit and say, can we then start from the individual working in groups to then come up with solutions to certain key issues of knowing how to talk to other people, knowing how to negotiate, knowing how to build communities, knowing how to participate in communities, and knowing how to be advocates of change in an intelligent and systematic manner. So Lantern is a series of workshops to support critical thinking for societal change through collective action. We have four key workshops. The first one is the on critical thinking where we discuss the building blocks of critical thinking as a foundation. The second one is the importance of evidence-based insights, so teaching participants how to collect evidence, how to gather evidence, how to verify evidence, to then come up with insights to make their point. The third one is design thinking, so moving on from critical thinking to collecting evidence to then thinking through the solutions, so coming up with how you identify your problem, how you define the problem and then designing solutions to solve the problem. And then the fourth workshop really looks at collective action. So it's talking about how we need to solve our issues collectively and teaching participants how to communicate effectively, how to use evidence to negotiate, but also how to then come together to work on a certain project to achieve a goal. We invite you to our Lantern workshops and we look forward to welcoming you. For more information, you can check the relevant link on our website.